chapter 3. Those woods are dark. Okay, that was the first task. Four more. Here we are. You can stay on the farm until you get your strength back. I don't think the owner will mind. You won't even know I'm here. I need a quiet place to rest for a bit. I'm so tired. I know. You'll sleep soon. But take a bath first. Use the guest bathroom. Just past the staircase and... In the meantime, I'll find something for you to wear and I'll bring it over. Oh, and uh, can you please make me a nice big cup of coffee? Um, yeah, sure. <sighs> Five sugars, please. Five? Five? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Just go and wash that blood off you already. One last thing, Angie. Yeah? What the hell is this dreadful thing on the table? I wouldn't worry too much about it. It's freaking me out, this thing. Even after everything you've been through? I can't help it. It looks like a frozen head of a giant baby. Fine. I'll ask Kieran to get rid of it when I see him. Now go. Run yourself a nice hot bath and leave all those horrible memories behind, yeah? Thanks, Angie. Gas cooker, an old one, probably from the 80s. Mm -hmm. uh, clean empty cup. Sweet enough as it is, Renji. Don't need it. Remember? That's what that clip says. The biggest lump of frozen meat I've ever seen. I can only assume it's a dinner Kirin software to make yesterday. See a naked lady run past here a minute ago. <laughs> That's Jenny. Don't worry about her. She needed a place to stay for a few days, and I've offered to help. Is that all right with you? Oh, that's fine with me. Just ask her to put some clothes on. <laughs> you know, in case that vigor comes round again. Speaking of clothes, do we have anything we could give her? Well, I, uh, I don't know much about ladies' garments, dear. It's all right. I can give her some of mine. Wait, I, uh, I still have some clothes that belong to my wife. It's a skirt and a blouse, I believe. I kept them because they were her favorite. They're in a suitcase upstairs. 
You sure you don't mind letting a stranger wear it? Penia, always had a heart of gold. She wouldn't think twice about lending her clothes to a stranger in need. Well, I'm sure of that. In that case, okay, I'll go look for it. Oh, uh, before you go, dear, any chance of another sandwich? Well, I waited and waited yesterday, but that roast lamb never came. Huh, I wonder why. But sure, I'll make you a sandwich in a minute. So, what should we have on it? Uh, let's see, we put some mayo. Uh, we put some ham. Put some bacon. cheese on top of that it's not being you about that though I wouldn't have mayo Karen, he didn't just forget to make dinner, he got drunk on George Sherry too. I need to have a word with him when he wakes up. Clothes belong to your wife Penny. Not bad. Hey, them. They look just about her size. Five, yeah, so this is we done one task so far. We have uh, this will be our second task. Kitty. Well, aren't you a cutie? Living on Burn House Lane, of all places. This doesn't seem like the right home for a beautiful cat like you. Let's come with me. Hmm. Get 
power of a uh, uh, pussy cat. Forest in the middle of the city. Yeah, exactly. Rip it all. slowly watch them die, but mostly to skin them alive as a sacrifice to the devil. What do you want me to do? Find Sheila and get her out of there. But do it soon. The sun sets down fast this time of year. You only have till midnight. And at night, these woods are dark. Okay, so that's the second person we have to get huh? I was home asleep, uh, waiting for Jim to finish her bath. Smoke and think about it. Mm -hmm. Wonder if I missed picking something up then. He wasn't sleeping. Liar. What was that rose slime you promised us, hmm? Well, where's the wine? You went to get it, and you never came back. I was... Ugh. It's a long story. But now that I think about it, you don't actually need red wine to make rose slam. You just stick the damn thing in the oven. It's that simple. Well, not the way I cook it. And what is your way to cook it? Let me guess. Getting pissed on George's sherry and falling asleep? I guess it's better you never actually started it because... You'd probably just burn the whole place down if you did, you drunken fool. Hey! That was George's idea to open that bottle. Uh. You wanna use it on him? Uh. Whatever. Do you want a cupcake? 
<laughs> Do I look like the kind of guy who'd say no to a cupcake? In that case... Here, it's all yours. Cheers, nurse. I will remember this. Is there a forest near the farm? Why are you asking? Well, I just feel like taking a walk in the woods. I want to get some fresh air, you know? You don't want to go to that forest. I mean, this is the good old countryside. There's fresh air everywhere. Maybe I like to look at the trees, yeah? Just tell me, how do I get there? Well, if you really must. There's a path leading to it in the east yard near my caravan. I'll be there all day. Come over and I'll show you. But you shouldn't go there alone. Why not? I hear stories about things happening in these woods. Bad things. Horrible things. Thanks for your concern, but I can take care of myself. Hmm. Did you see a young woman? Blonde? Late twenties. You mean Jenny? Yes. She's lovely, isn't she? Where is she? Uh, the last I saw her, she was talking to George. Right. Thanks. See you later. And don't do anything stupid. <laughs> Me? Never! <laughs> I see you've met Jenny. Uh, this lovely young lass wandered in. I offered my chair to her, and she must have been very exhausted, because she just fell asleep before I could even offer her a cup of tea. Do you want me to...? No, no, leave her. That's fine. As a matter of fact, I'll go find her a blanket. That's a bit chilly today. Okay. Mm. Mm, I haven't thought about it. Wait, is there anything else? Can I interest you in a little game I've invented? There's prizes to be won. What would I have to do? You uh, ever held a gun? Yes. Well then, I throw some empty bottles up in the air. You try to hit them before they fall. Easy. What do you say? What are the rules? I'll throw five bottles in the air, one at a time. Your job is to shoot them down. 
You'll win a nice prize if you manage to hit at least three out of five. But there's a special prize if you beat my personal record and hit all five bottles. You want to try? Sure, let's try it. Got it! Nice! Good shot! Five bottles! You're amazing! Here's your special ultra rare first prize, as promised. A large caliber desert eagle bullet. <laughs> Just one? Oh, they're, they're quite expensive. But let's be honest. With this sort of weapon, all you need is one shot. Really? But I don't even have a Desert Eagle. Well, I'd lend you mine, but uh, well, you know how it is. I grow attached to these things. It's all right. I don't want it anyway. Do you want to try again? No, thanks. Here, take your gun back. I'm off to the woods. Will I get there if I keep going this way? Well, yes, but uh, you don't really want to go there, nurse. You should leave that for me to decide. Mm. You ready for some shooting practice? Well, I'm kind of curious to know if I just shoot three. But well, let's uh, try and just uh, hit three of them then, because he said he, that was uh, another price. So. I'm just gonna hit three. Very nice. And here's the incredible second prize. What is this? It's a little sheep. Isn't it lovely? <laughs> I got it at the car boot sale last year. Thanks. It'll look nice on the shelf, I guess. Do you want to try again? No, oh, thanks. No, thanks. I already wondered the prices yeah, you can have. You had two prices. Mm -hmm. Okay, let me have my last cup of coffee for today. Let me move into the forest. Right back. Cricket in there, huh? Go 
starts flying in the back, I don't know. Party bus. Happiness only real when shared. Okay. I need to find another way up. Six six six. Mm -hmm. Rest cross three sixes. Shit. Let's not jump to conclusions just yet. Maybe someone's flipped the sign by accident. Quite a big bit higher. is empty all the devils are here Introduce myself. I am Arno. Oh, he's on Finnish. So, you're you, Arno. Is it okay to ask? Oh, I'm a journalist from Finland. Finland? Sounded That's it. nice. Welcome to Here in miles away with their well, accents. I've been planning this trip for a long time. These woods have been calling me all this time, reaching out to me like a distant melody. And yesterday morning, when I arrived, I could feel it. I knew that this is my destiny. What is? To become the man who captures Walter Green and proves the legends were all true. That's very bold. Aren't you afraid that he'll stick you up on a tree and pull your skin off? Or... I don't really know what he does. 
Eat your eyeballs? Chop your head off? Eat my eyeballs? He's a serial killer, not an animal. <laughs> he... he just mostly grabs and stabs people multiple times. <laughs> so if you ever get near him, watch out for the grab. That would be my advice for you. Right. Good to know. He has grabs you a few, t grabs you and stabs you a few times. <laughs> you seem to know a lot about Walter Green. Of course I do. I don't mean to brag, but I'm the world's biggest expert on what they call the Walter Green mythos. I've read every single article ever written on it, including the unpublished blogs and letters. I've lived and breathed these stories for almost six years, and I feel confident to say I know his greatest secret. Something nobody else knows. What is it? Oh, I'm not telling it. It's a secret. <laughs> but if you want to know more, there's a Walter Green's fan page that I've run for the last three years. It's a lovely community. You should totally join it. Tell you what, if I'm still alive by tomorrow, I totally will. What is this shack? The Satanist Club? Not quite. It used to be a lumberjack's cabin back in the day, but it's been abandoned since 2013. You see, that's when all those grisly murders started to happen in the area. Jeffrey Brand, the lumberjack, was one of the first they found. Where? Here? Here indeed. If you look closely, you can still see his blood on the windowsill. Right. Lovely. And what about all those satanic drawings? Ah, yes. It's widely believed that Walter Green worships the devil. He makes them all over the forest, as well as little shrines to Satan, built with bones and feathers. They usually mark spots where he killed people. I'm looking for a small chapel with a creepy doll pinned to it. Please, I really need to find it. Any chance you saw it? Yes, I think I did. Where was it? I'd have to draw you a map, I think. Because you know, the picture is worth a thousand words. That would be great. Thanks. I'll wait. Actually, I was just about to start a fire for the night. It's still early. In these woods, you see, without light comes death. Don't forget, there's a dangerous serial killer lurking nearby. He could be watching us right now. So, while I draw the map, would you mind lighting a fire in the fireplace over there? I would appreciate that very much. Hmm. Tell me more about Walter Green. What would you like to know? How can I tell if Walter is close by? Mm. Well... If you can't see him, because it's either too dark or he's hiding in the trees, you can always hear him. Julie Mars, who witnessed Walter during cold winter of 2017, described the sound he produced as rapid breathing of a scared animal. So keep your ears open. Or go home while you still can. Well, if Julie Marsh made it. Who says she did? They found her notes written in a little diary, stuffed inside her hollowed out chest. <laughs> her guts scattered around in a 10 meter radius inside a large pentagram. 
two large pine cones instead of eyes in her eye sockets. Thanks. I get the picture. <laughs> you mentioned a secret. Oh, I shouldn't have brought it up. Come on. You can tell me. That's the thing. I can't. It's my secret weapon. The ace up my sleeve. So forgive me, but no. This one stays with me. Tell me this. Tell me his fucking secret now. Tell me his fucking secret now. <laughs> I... Um, shit. It's... Well... Walter Green is a woman. What? A woman. And if you call him, her, by his real name, a woman's name, he, she, will let you leave. And what is that name? I don't know yet, but I will find it. Whoa, did you feel that? Feel what? This cold draft. I think a ghost came through here. Jeffrey? Is that you? <laughs> Relax. It was just the wind. What's his weapon? Good question. According to autopsy reports, most wounds found on Walter's victims were puncture wounds inflicted by a large single-edged blade. A carbon steel 12 inches combat knife, similar to that used by American Marines. You see it, you turn back and you run. Don't even think about beating Walter in close combat. He'll just grab you, stab you right in the heart and bleed you dry. And then he'll probably cut you open, pull out your intestines and offer your soul to Satan. <laughs> so, yeah, stay away. Go home and make a cup of lemon tea. <laughs> Best strategy for someone like you. No offense. It's also a great cold remedy, especially this time of year. Hey, two in one, huh? What does it look like? You mean, you don't know? I'm, I'm not from around here. Oh, well, in that case, imagine a giant bear standing on two legs. His body is so muscular, it's easy to imagine him lifting a fallen oak all on his own and throwing it in the air like it's no more than a twig. He wears a soldier's attire with leather straps. Is this another of Omar's women? Bones that and has escaped? Attached to them. On his head, an old canvas bag with two holes for eyes. And that's why I'm here. To be the first to remote that bag and see the face that was hidden for all these years. The face of a killer. That's all I wanted to know. All right, I'll get a fire going for you. Wonderful. Now, see this axe stuck in the wall there. You will need that. The axe? Wow. Don't mind if I do. Better save now so we don't have to go through all that thing just in, just in case.
this old well is as dry as a bone. You jump in if I break my spine, at least I won't have to worry about the fucking cancer anymore. But then who's gonna find the girl in the hole? What's her name? Uh, Pila. Could be wrong. We need a freaking chainsaw to make firewood out of this. I'm a lumberjack, I'm alright. Do, 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 do. Should be ready really soon. With a bit of effort, I could make this fireplace come to life again. Should we jump down there or I can't I mean, it seems like I have to jump into the well. Our party lies a large boombox. It's a rusty barrel full of old rubbish. It seems to be the same, same kind as the one I had lost. Okay, well, why is this crap flashlight that we have? Thank you. 
Takie no te fajne. Thank you for doing this. You are a real friend, Angie. Nah, it's not a big deal. Yes, it is, and I will now return the favor. I draw a map that will lead you to the place you mentioned, a little chapel with a doll hanging outside. It's not too far. Just keep going east from here, across the river, and through the burnt forest until you see a rock with Walter's drawings on it. You are looking specifically for one with three sixes repeated six times on the same rock. That's where you make a turn and go through the briar patch. Be careful so you don't cut yourself on it. Then, on the other side, you should see the place you are looking for. Right. Thanks, Arno. Here, take the map. But you should just wait until morning anyway. I can't wait. There's something I have to do before midnight. You'll just get lost in the dark. I have a torch. He'll find you. He'll sneak up on you in the dark and he'll stab you. I'll walk really slowly and listen out for him. Well, I applaud your courage. I just hope I don't have to drag your dead body back to the village tomorrow. Hmm. I can take care of myself. I can take care of myself. If you end up dragging a body back to the village, it will be Walter Green's sorry ass. Not mine. Well, I will certainly keep my fingers crossed for you. But please, be careful anyway. You are nice. You helped me. I don't want to see you get hurt. Don't be silly. Now, take care and good luck on your hunt. It's time for me to go online. Okay. Have a little uh, smoke before we go. Sugar helmet, it seems to be part of a totem. Simos again, I don't know why, but they give me goose guns. This should be it. Uh, right. We said six times, so. There's only three on this one.
One, two, three, four, five. It's almost a one. Now let's see, here we have it. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yep. Keep it all again. That was hard exercise, so we need more. We need to uh, need a smoke break there. I know it's right. It's, de it's definitely the place for my dream. Remember this from the dream, it's a trap. It would be pretty stupid to fall down here again with no means of getting back up. She's not moving. Sheila? You okay? Let's get you out of here, girl. Something written on it. When Sheila is embroidered on the doll's clothes. Uh, leave forest. Sheila. Now it's time to get back home. How was that? A smoke break.
Made safe. Question. It's a swamp, it almost looks like. <laughs> Investigative manner. Here's Johnny coming in with an axe. I wonder if it still works. Pull lever. Steps. Forgive me, Father. Uh, I will bring you back from the dark. So seems pretty sturdy. I feel that there is something important behind it. moon return what has been stolen upside down 666 then what the heck yes we need to go down Examine old paper probably filled with something horrible like spiders or rotten human heads. Is it really here or am I tripping again?
have a call. I feel like combustion chamber will call. The soul should burn nice in now. Feels like we are supposed to burn something in there. I think we are supposed to burn Sheila. Key and the coin, what were they doing inside the doll? What did it say? One... One pound. Some was covered in flowers, whose have been summers, they must have been very important. Somehow, a part of me feels like I should also pay respects. Look inside them. Sergeant Walter Green. Walter Green, what? This is Walter, then who the hell has just chased me through the woods? His wife. Wait, I almost said something about the killer being a woman. And the doll, it didn't belong to the dead girl down in, oh, it's uh, Sheila Green. It belonged to, shit. The real killer is Sheila Green, I found her after all. We leave a uh, flower. Here's one more from me. Rest in peace, Walter Green. Oh, honor the dead. Honor the dad dead. <laughs> Rest in peace, Walter Green. Somehow I feel you aren't to blame for all the blood that has been spilled here. It is a green kitty now. Oh yeah, we are Run, little friend. Press jump, okay. Jump too far. Yum, yum. 
meow, 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 meow. We say with the kitty, gonna eat the rats. Some hmm. oh, cut. there's a land like right on. Finish it? No. Well, finish it and finish it. We got to the sixth, uh, sector six. As far as I got. Press the damn space bar, come on. Yes, I had to press way ahead. Jump too close to the edge. I'll be back here. Time to go in and uh, find Aaron. Savior. They just come running in. Meow. Apua, apua.
<laughs> Go ahead, little one. Our wolf brothers won't bother you. We got better connection. <laughs> Uh, this is what this uh, stuff is for. But I have, how the heck are we supposed to? There's no way we can find her now. And let's face it, she is probably already dead. Which is unfortunate because she was nice. I liked her. What if it's not too late? We can't just leave her there all alone. Let me explain it again. These woods are dark. It would be like looking for a needle in a haystack. Oh, there's gotta be a way. Maybe, if we had a tracking dog. Or... A cat? <laughs> Hi there. I can't believe we are following a stray cat through the woods in the middle of the night. Stop whinging. I really feel like it's leading us somewhere. Ugh, this bog stinks of death. Really? To me, it just stinks like shit. <laughs> well, yeah, that too. Death and shit. A popular combination. This is it, the Green Family Manor. Most people think it's just a legend, but it's really here. Great. But take it down a notch, man, could you? Remember the dead girl in the cave? Yes, but don't worry, I've got this. Well, you keep saying that, but I don't know. <sighs> that shit was fucked up. Yes, I agree. But unlike her, I know what I'm doing. I don't see you carrying any weapons. That worries me slightly. We don't need weapons. Just stay back and let me do the talking. It's really you. Hi there, Walter. How are you? Oh, do not be alarmed. I come as a friend, so please hear me out. My name is Arno, and I'm your biggest fan. I know everything about you. I even know your secret. The thing no one else knows. just I really admire you and I understand that you have done all these horrible things for a reason I came all this way to tell you something important something that will change everything Walter I no don't! Stop it! Right now! Arno? Shit! Let's find Angie and get the fuck out of here. Shit. 
Jenny? What are you doing here? Returning the favor? You're lucky the key was still in the lock. There's no time to talk. We should get the fuck out of here, Angie. Yeah. Let's go. secret, Walter. Or should I say, Sheila? Yeah, you're a girl, all right. Sure, you pump iron and you eat raw meat out here in these woods, but I think I know why I've done all this. of your father, isn't it? You loved him and wanted to be like him. I bet it was him that taught you how to fight and how to survive. You two must have had a very special bond indeed. That's why you couldn't accept his death. You couldn't move on. Break your father's heart if he could see you now. Stop! That was a wrong choice. the fucker <laughs> I always knew my elephant gun would come in handy one day but never in my wildest dreams did I imagine that it would be the legendary Walter Green himself that I shoot with it. It was Sheila Green that you shot. Her dad Walter didn't have anything to do with this. He's been dead for a long time. For reals? I killed a woman? Bam. Feels bad. Woman or not, she was a merciless killer. These woods will be safe for now. All thanks to you. Well, if you put it like that. I'll miss Arno, though. He didn't deserve to die like that. Was he that bloke? Yep. Poor sod. If only I bought you more time. Maybe you could have saved him, too. What's done is done. He knew what he was getting into. We certainly owe him, but we can't turn back time. It should have been me who died there. Don't say that. Why would you even think like that? No reason. I'm just sad about Anna. That's all. Yeah, I know. This sucks. We should go back. It's morning already. 
I bet George is up and he's wondering where everyone is. But most of all, someone's got to make him a sandwich.